tonight. It's the National Football League. It's Super Bowl Sunday. It's the Detroit Lions taking on the Houston Texans. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion Houston Texans taking on the NFC champions, the Detroit Lions. Start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a former most valuable player in the National Football League, the always dangerous Lamar Jackson. Allow me a second here to gush because in his college career, the only player in NCAA history to rush for over 1,500 yards and pass for over 3,500 yards in a season, and he did it twice. That's pretty good. That's really good. <laughs> Yet he only won the Heisman Trophy once. And the drive starts with a completion left side. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down. And we see the emphasis early here. Get your star receiver involved, able to do it successfully. Not a bad start to begin with, that's for sure. And to me, this play says our guy is better than your guy's because you know a player of his stature he won't just be single covered all game long it's going to involve multiple people and right away they told the other team guess what he's just better so one play and they're already just shy of midfield from the gun it's jackson and a quick throw here that's complete and this will leave him a yard short Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A gain of nine brings up second and one at the Lions' 43-yard line. On second down now, McLean. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. Touchdown, Houston. With a first touchdown of this Super Bowl and a long one at that. And the Texans have taken the early lead. On paper coming in, you'd say that these guys are the better team by far, and they sort of showed their superiority there on the opening drive. Yeah, they came in the heavy favorite in this game, and even though they're on the road, they just still got just wiped it away, didn't they? They just said to everyone, we're the better team. We just showed it to you on this opening drive, and we expect to do it all game long. An extra point attempt here still to come. And the Texans take a 7-0 lead. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And the last play, a really nice run that culminated in the touchdown. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. 
taking it about the one. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. And we get a glance here at their leader, the man who will be calling the plays under center. And what I enjoyed in preparing for this game was talking not just with the coaching staff, but with him as well. And I found it interesting that the coaching staff sees him one way, and he sees himself in an entirely different way. Yeah, one thing he said he's always working on, he's, we know he's not bad at this, but his footwork always wants to improve that, and that's something he's going to focus on here. And what was so funny, what the offensive coordinator said right off the top, he's got great footwork. Love his footwork. So this guy is never satisfied. It's now second and To throw on second down. Godwin throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Brings up third down and six. Operating from the gun, Godwin. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. They'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. Try the jet sweep here. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. His 49-yard line. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. From the gun, Godwin. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Brings up third and five. Looking to throw. Godwin. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. They'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory, right at the 40. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Brought down at the credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Brings up second and nine. Now a handoff looking right. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Operating from the gun, Godwin. Flushed out right. And now look at this, big gain, but a fumble. And the Texans scoop it. That was all great until the final act, able to scramble, get the first, but he couldn't hang on to the football. And as a former defender, I can tell you that when a quarterback scrambles and picks up a first down on third down, that's usually demoralizing for a defense. But when he coughs it up in doing so, heh, elation results after that. A new lease on life, so to speak. No doubt about it. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. To the fumble recovery, it's Jackson. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. It's second down and 10. Second and 10, here's Jackson again. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six yard line. Well, there was second long, now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going the wrong direction for the offensive guys. After 
the sack. They'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Uh, no run call here. They'll look to throw instead. Forced out to his left. Room past the 20. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And this will be a Texans first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, set, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. Two first downs have them up to the 41 now for first and 10. Here's Jackson to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. They'll run on first down. McLean shrugs the tackle. Nice. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Three-yard pickup. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Call it a gain of five as they move the sticks. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. Jackson. Wide open receiver complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 15 yards, the Texans pick up the first down. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Second down and three, ball on the seven. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. He was brought down at the four-yard line. Brings up third down. Jackson looking to throw on third. This will be caught at about the five. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. 
Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call it? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. Well, they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They give it off here to the tight end. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. This is why I've never been a big fan of trying to get too cute down here by the goal line. For every one time something like this works, it seems like it blows up about ten times. And sure enough, they'll wind up losing yards here. at the two now. Here's second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Texans will extend their lead. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, obviously your confidence rises in a big way, and you're putting some doubt in their minds. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble of bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And last time the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, and pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. 14, Lions nothing. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, Godwin. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. Godwin, similar to a shooter in basketball, just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now we had a guy who made the catch. They try to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. Looking left side and completing it to Thomas. And he is going to have the Lions first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 45-yard line. And to give this time to the tailback. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second. Operating from the gun. Godwin. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 29-yard line. At the 29-yard line. Now a handoff here to his running back. And the stiff arm made it a pretty little run, not a huge gain. 
But a nice chunk of yardage. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Second and a yard. From the gun, Godwin looking middle, and it's incomplete. The Lions on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. They're up against a third and one situation, and he'll give it here to his running back. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. For just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball and pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short. That's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Operating from the gun, Godwin. That is incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and this shows on the scoreboard. To throw again, Godwin. That's caught, it's Thomas. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. They get 6. That'll leave them with 3rd and 4. Makes it 3rd and 4. From the gun on 3rd down, Godwin. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So on 4th down, Doug Marone going to send out his field goal unit. This is a 26-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to 3. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And he's found the end zone twice, and now I'm guessing he's thinking, hey, let's find it three times. And you got to figure from the defensive perspective, how has he gotten there twice? What are we going to do to keep him out for a third time? How do we tighten things down? Because he and his offensive mates, they are really in sync right now. On first down, McLean. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Brings up second and one. They go play action now. Jackson over the middle complete. That's Carpenter. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. They looked his way quite a bit, and in my estimation, as well they should. Well, that's now five catches in this first half alone. And he picks up another first down. He's been an important part of their offense here early. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Jackson from the shotgun. Throw left side complete. It's Carpenter. Jackson. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. From the gun, Jackson. And that'll be incomplete. Jackson's pass. You tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. The Texans on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This time it's third and three. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. A loss of seven yards. Tell you what, he did not have much time there to skim the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly, yeah. meaning the guys in front of them had almost no chance to block them? They were on him in a hurry. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. Oh, it's a wobbler here. 
And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20 yard line. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard at the 31-yard line. Looking to throw on second down. Godwin to the right side and complete to Thomas. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Brings up second and nine. From the gun, Godwin. And he will find his man on the outside. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 37. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Well, that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. He couldn't get the hook up there that time with Thomas, and that'll bring up second down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Throwing again, Godwin. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. It's third and ten. Operating from the gun, Godwin. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. I don't care if you're taking it in round one, you're undrafted, whatever. As a rookie quarterback in this league, you're going to have games where you face adversity like this. Lessons. All the time you're going to face these lessons. The key for this guy is will he be able to bounce back in the next one? Because right now, this has not been his game. Here comes the Lions punter now. As he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And here's a very low line drive. Almost whiffed on it. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. At their own now the Texans offense, they head back out to do battle here. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. You know, Lamar Jackson last season, the first NFL quarterback with 3,000 or more passing yards and 1,000 or more rushing yards in the same season. And we see both of those talents on display here today. We just saw another completed pass. And everyone knew coming out of college he could run the ball. But for some reason, we didn't analyze it throwing the way we should have. I think every time he completes a pass, he says to himself, take that, evaluators. You guys really missed the boat on me. And he'll be taken down after a gain of about eight, as that will lead us to the two-minute warning. Coming up 
in a couple of minutes. We'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he'll get it down here to the 43. That one, a first down pickup of eight. He'll get this one to McFarland out of the backfield. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. A gain of six there on first. To throw again on second down. Jackson going to throw right side here. Complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 23. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. On first and 10, it's Jackson. Throwing right, and that's complete. And out of bounds right around the 20. Three yards the gain there, second down. A three-yard pickup. Brings up to throw again is Jackson. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Ten at the 12-yard line. Again, Jackson. That's complete right around the eight. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. On second down, McLean. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. A great play there with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Texans push further out in front. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there. Unable to do so, that makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Point after try, forthcoming. It's 21 to 3. The kick is good. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's culminated by a two yard touchdown run. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. From the six. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. First and 10 at their own 30-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lick your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But it's also something to challenging your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. Not much there, only a yard. He steps out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. To throw on second down. Godwin. And that one will fall incomplete. Godwin's pass. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. From the gun, Godwin. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. So a change of possession here on the punt. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Now comes a Houston offense as they get set to take over here. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. 
They'll keep it on the ground again here. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. A good pickup, but it will come on what should be the final play in this first half. So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight as we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. Thus far, this Super Bowl has looked less like a contest and more like a coronation. And to call the second half, let's get it right back out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. These two teams sat through a longer-than-usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. And the half will begin with a touchback. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. They'll start the third quarter here on the ground. And he's going to get forward for about five, but that may be coming back. What say you, Mr. Referee? That hold coming from the middle of the line, the center. And it's difficult for him because sometimes you've got people right over you, and as soon as you snap it, trying to get your hands up and block them, you can be a little bit late getting it done. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. from the gun. Godwin going right back to Jones. This time the connection made. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A first down there on a pick up the 25. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. On first down, Godwin. And his throw's going to be incomplete. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. It's second down and 10. To throw again. Godwin. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. From the gun. Godwin, and that will be incomplete as well. But the passing windows are just not there, and that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and that will come the offense as they take over. So here's the Texans offense now. They get set to start this third quarter. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Yeah, how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. He's turning in a pretty impressive performance running the football and a big reason why they have this nice lead. And in days gone by, we would clip this out and put it up on the refrigerator, wouldn't we? Clip out the box score. Nowadays, not too many newspapers out there. Maybe you screenshot it online. 
Throwing now, Jackson on first down. That's into the hands of his running back, McFarland. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Ten yards there, good enough for a Texan first down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Brings up second and one. They'll keep it on the ground. McLean. And he'll be brought down. It looks like right at the 40. Houston. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Jackson on first down. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. Seven yards on the play, and it'll be a second down. Brings up second and three at the Lions' 33-yard line. Operating from the gun, Jackson. There goes a deep ball, end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever, there it results in a touchdown. But now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. That time, a six-play drive. And the result, a Houston touchdown. Lions three. Sanchez now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. Taking it about the one. And able to get this out to the 25. For first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Now a handoff here to his running back. He works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. And the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. From the gun, Godwin. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. That's good. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 11 yards there and a Lion first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. A gain of four. It's now operating from the gun. Godwin looking left side. It's complete. He's got it. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. We're on Lions. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. 
And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. Brings up second and 10 at the 32. From the gun, Godwin. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Godwin's pass. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. It's a gain of five. Brings up third and five. Operating from the gun, Godwin. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. From the gun, Godwin. This is caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Nice gain of eight that time, and it's second and goal. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? They'll try to run this one in. And he's going to take it in for a Lion touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Lions are able to cut into this lead. Second effort there. He was determined to find pay dirt, and he did. I think that's a great example of what coaches talk about, a back that runs behind his pads. And he uses pads to get him into the end zone. Extra point forthcoming. And this is up and good. It cuts the lead to 28-10 now. A 10-play drive that time. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be fielded inside the five. And he gets it to the 30-yard line, but the football's not going to stay there. There's a penalty marker down. Receiving team. Man, they got to let it play. So the special team's penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Brings up second and seven. Operating from the gun. Jackson got his man complete over the middle. That's Carpenter. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. The 35-yard line. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And he's going to get this into enemy territory at the 45. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that. The nickel look. Five sets, five DBs. But what also happens then? You take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you take a big off for a little. And oftentimes, you can run the football effectively against that defense. Right back to him on first down. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. From the gun, Jackson. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Third down and six yards to go. On third down, Jackson. 
And that will be incomplete. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 16-yard line. Here's the Lion offense now as they get ready to take over. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I, mean, I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. A gain of three, second down. Brings up second and seven. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Tackle made at the 21-yard line. It's a gain of two. Brings up third and five. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The Lions on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This will be third and five. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. His second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Operating from the gun, Godwin. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. First and 10 now in Houston territory at the 44-yard line. From the gun, Godwin. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. First down. On first and 10, Godwin. A slant to Jones. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 11 more on that one, and another first down. First and 10 at the 20-yard line. Yeah, that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Operating from the gun, Godwin. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Looking to throw on second down. Godwin. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. Godwin's pass. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. 
Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Call it a three-yard gain, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Defensively, they were all over that. When he decided to keep it, there were a lot of eyes just darted on him. I wonder if he followed the progressions properly there. I think maybe he really wanted to run with the football. Turned out not to be the correct decision. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. And this one is right through. And that'll get the deficit down to 15. The score, Texans 28, Lions 13. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. And as you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. At their own 27-yard line. Houston set to take over. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. A six-yard pickup. Brings up second and four. Throwing is Jackson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs. Able to improvise and get the first. And Brandon, this is the time of the game when Jackson could really take over. He's got the defense's legs a little bit tired. He's got them on the run. Yeah, this defense looks gassed, and you're exactly right. Second half with the lead, this is when Lamar Jackson seems to thrive. First down, McLean, and he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. He's across midfield. two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. A gain of two brings up second and eight. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 38-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. On first down, McLean. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Finally, defensively, they have a little clip to show positive for actually stopping him running the football. It's been a really long night for them, hasn't it? So they got a little bit of a win there, but let's face it. The vision that he's had running the football has carried his feet to the open spaces and to big yardage all night long. On second and 11 now. Jackson over the middle complete. That's Porter. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 12-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. The passing game continues to be their friend. Even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles, they're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now it's Jackson. Now they go screen. It's complete. And, oh, now he's stripped. He lost the football. Jackson's pass complete. A fumble on the play. Focusing on me, 
Second and four. They could still get a first down without scoring. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And the Texans are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. That play gets them six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. They'll keep it on the ground. McLean. And he is not going to get through here on try number one. They stop him at the goal line. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. I don't know about you, Brandon, but I often think to myself, in these situations, I want to back. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Texans will add on to their lead. Well, that was all Lamar Jackson all the time on that drive, both through the air and in the end with the touchdown run. Yeah, how about him doing things a little bit on the reverse side there, Brandon, because he softened him up throwing the football and opened up the running lanes. And when he gets a little bit of a sliver, he's gone. And that's exactly what he did there. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was capped off by the touchdown run that came from Lamar Jackson. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. This will be fielded inside the five. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And it's becoming more and more apparent that this is just not going to be their night. That Lombardi trophy so close, but the expectations simply have not matched the results as they start on this drive first and 10. Throwing on first down, Godwin. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Second and 10 now from the 27. It leads to Throwing again. Godwin. And his throw is incomplete. Now they face a third and 10 after back to back incompletions. Brings up a third down. And from the gun, Godwin. And now another one thrown incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He'll air it out deep for Thomas. And that's caught at the 25. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. Well, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Operating from the gun, Godwin. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. Makes it second and 10. Off the play fake, Godwin. At this point, down big. You'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route, and the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. Gun. Godwin. 
to the goal line, but it's incomplete. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Brings up second and goal. Operating from the gun, Godwin. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Brings up third and goal. From the gun on third down, Godwin to the goal line, but it's incomplete. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. A field goal does you no good, so they're going to stay out there and go for it on fourth. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And this is incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And this Texans defense stands tall. So a tough pill to swallow there. A would-be touchdown pass in and out of his hands on fourth. Sometimes it just comes down to execution, doesn't it? Because we're always questioning, should they go for it, should they not? Is it the right play call? Is it not? In this situation, everything was right except for the finish. You have to catch the ball and convert. They'll run on first down. McLean, and he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the 9-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. He's going to have the first down pass the 20. As he'll get this one up to the 44-yard line. A gain of right around 35 yards on a play that started back inside their 10. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. McLean. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Brings up second and eight. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. He's going to call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. Brings up third and four. And the Lone Star State has a new champion. It's the Houston Texans, kings of the Super Bowl. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you <laughs> say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it. Super Bowl champs, the Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. And what a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.